Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where the sun is shining here tonight in Inverness, Scotland. Now I'm sure a lot of you might be thinking, hang on a minute, Sean's drove over seven hours up to Scotland to come and visit a fun fair. Well, over the past five days, I've actually been doing the North Coast 500, a scenic trip around the North Coast of Scotland. So then videos are gonna be coming up starting next week over on my other channel, Adventure Sean. So I'll put the link down below in the description. Now the North Coast 500 starts and ends here in Inverness and I've ended that trip today and the local fun fair has started so I thought well you know what the ride lineup looks good you've all been enjoying the fun fair vlog so far this year and also the showmen really need the support as well as the theme parks so I thought let's come down here the ride lineup looks really good blimey it's a bit windy the ride lineup looks pretty good there's some unique rides here and also um, there's some brand new rides as well it's their actual first time coming out so yeah look Looking forward to it. You can see the uh, setup there just behind me, all the uh, lorries and all the different vehicles, of course, that bring the rides in. So, yes, come and join me. In terms of how it works, um, it's a token based fare, it's not a pay one price wristband, it's token based. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can see the drop tower over there, and that looks quite fun. So, I've got the chest mounted GoPro. Let's go for it. Come and join me here for a fun fair tonight in Inverness, over seven hours away from where I'm actually based. Let's go. Oh, I can just hear the sounds of the ghost train over there. And here we go. Here's the entrance to Horns Pleasure Fairs. Really nice entrance, isn't it? Looks well, great, that does. And of course, test and trace in operation down here at the entrance. So yeah, you don't have to pay to go in. But if we look at the sign over there, 10 tokens for 10 pounds. So yeah, that's uh, quite a good deal in my opinion. And of course, here's all the information. So it started back on Wednesday the 9th and it's running daily through until the 27th of June here on Boot Park, I think it is. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but uh, there you go. There's a look at the signage. Well, as you can see, there's quite a big queue down there, but I'm going to join the queue and hopefully we'll get in shortly. But yeah, look at the entrance here. It looks great, doesn't it? Really nice entrance trailer. Right then, so I waited about 15 minutes there in the queue. Not too bad at all, of course. We've got to do all the test and trace to come in. And yeah, I've purchased my tokens there at the entrance. 10 tokens for 10 pounds or one pounds 50 per token so yeah i think it's pretty good value i'm going to start off then over here on starfighter this looks really good fun though it's quite a unique ride actually and it's only two tokens so yeah well worth it of course if you're buying the uh, the 10 pounds 10 token bundle works out at two pound a ride doesn't it and quite a lot of the bigger rides are two tokens not too bad at all really i think uh, extreme that's three tokens but yeah not too badly priced at all i've got the chest mounted gopro on let's go and have a ride over on starfighter just thought i'd show the uh, the op booth over there looks great i like the uh, the lighting up there on the top as well which is nice every so often it just comes around there you go with starfighter the name on there it's quite nice isn't it right gopro's on let's go and ride starfighter here we go here we go then first ride starfighter let's see what this is going to be like yeah, it's a nice warm afternoon for the fun fair here in Inverness. So yeah, we start okay, off. Hey. Here we go. So yeah, we start off kind of feels a bit like a sizzler at first. Like a slower sizzler to start off with this sensation. Then of course we're gonna be tilting upwards, lifting up, and carrying on spinning. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, just had a glimpse of that twister over there. That looks amazing. A brand new ride. The lighting package looks amazing. Yeah, hopefully it's going to stay dry for us this afternoon. You ready, riders? Let's go. Let's Woo! Go round and round. Here we go. Let's take it to the top. We're flying high. We're flying right up to the sky. And cut. Oh no. <laughs> Still a big queue out there to come in. It took about 15 minutes, like I say, not too bad. Oy. Oh, some lovely views. What a weird sensation, yeah. Oy. There's some great views across the area though. Okay, riders, you ready for some more? Yeah, let's have some more of that. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a little bit rickety. 
boys, force boys, good. Starfighter. <laughs> with this is the restraints on too restrictive Whee. so yeah you get quite a bit of movement which is good what a tune <laughs> let's go i feel good yeah it's really comfortable i quite enjoyed that slowing down oh it's brilliant two tokens Star fighter. Okay, riders, we're gonna give you some more speed. Yeah, spin you off at the bottom. Let's do it. Oh, we're getting more. Whee. I'm sure this is a longer cycle than the one I was watching in the queue. Maybe he's seen that we've got the GoPro on. Whee. To be fair, he's only got a short queue. That was really good fun, very much enjoyed that. Over a three minute cycle as well. And yeah, only two tokens. Up next then, I'm going on drop zone that you can see just behind me. I believe this is manufactured by SPF. And yeah, we're going to have a ride on here. This looks really good. And from watching it, it's got quite a long cycle too. And yeah, this is another two tokens ride. So yeah, really good value down here. We're flying high again. <laughs> well, here we go, getting some great views on this. I tell you what, this would be a proper Charlotte ride. If she was here with me on this trip, she would definitely be coming on here. Nice to have a drop tower at Fun Fair. <laughs> oh, it's got quite a bit of kick to it. Oh my God, I should get some air time. Good thing is the restraints are pretty, you know, non-restrictive on this, which is good. And I have, oh, oh my god, and I've lost three stone over the past uh, half a year, so yeah, that probably helps. Oh my god, we nearly wiped out that seagull then. But yeah, look at the queue, it's all the way down there. Good to see people coming, <laughs> coming out and supporting the fairs. Oh my god, this is really good. I'm getting some awesome air time. Like I say, the lap bar is just like really not restrictive at all. Of course, it safely keeps you in, <laughs> but it's got a right kick to it. Love it. Just so nice to get on some different rides. The Hell Chaser Ghost Train looks interesting over there. We'll have a ride on there. <laughs> we'll have a ride on there later on. Brilliant. Yeah, I think that's two tokens as well. Good cycle on this, isn't it? Yeah, some stunning views. <laughs> I can't believe the airtime. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, it's so good. But yeah, I believe that Halta Scalter is brand new. From looking on their Facebook page, they posted about some brand new rides. So yeah, that's uh, another new one. And like I say, the uh, the Sizzler looks amazing. We'll go and chat out next, I think. The lighting package looks incredible. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> this is brilliant. Two tokens, what a bargain. In terms of parking for this, there's lots of parking nearby. I parked on the main car park down in Inverness, down by the castle and the cathedral. Four pounds apart there all day. Whee! <laughs> oh, just keeps going. Honestly, that was brilliant. Two minutes on there. Love that. Well, drop zone was pretty awesome. Definitely a Charlotte ride. She would absolutely love that if she was here with me in Scotland. What a gorgeous evening for it now. Time to ride a brand new attraction straight out of the factory over at PWS Rides. Here we go, it's this Twister. And I'm just fascinated by the lighting package on this. It looks incredible. Look at the color scheme on it as well. The purple and blue, it goes together amazing. And there's so many LEDs absolutely everywhere. Uh, even down the bottom here in the queue line, honestly, it looks stunning. And the best thing is, it's only two tokens to ride. So an absolute bargain. And looks like we're gonna get quite a good cycle on here. Love how they've got the flags on the top there as well. That's cool. Now open up there on the top. But yeah, stress, fresh out of the factory this one. It looks absolutely stunning. Let's uh, get in the queue and let's go and have a ride. Hey. Here we go. I've got to say that this looks amazing. The best looking sizzler I've ever seen. Look at the LED lighting package. It looks absolutely brilliant this. Straight out of the factory. Sun shining. Here we go. Woo! Oh yes. Very smooth, very comfortable. Love it. 
Always great to get on a ride on his first outing here in Inverness. Absolutely love the purple and blue colour scheme on this as well. It looks amazing. And, and look at the operator's booth, like the cabin looks great. Twist again, like we did last summer. Yeah, I won't sing, you don't want that, do you? <laughs> yeah, let's do it, boys and girls. Let's go, let's go, yeah! Oh, I love the announcement. Get the horns going, oh yes. Woo, woo! It's like a rave. <laughs> oh, it's good, this is. I tell you what, she is great on the announcements as well. All the full music, everything you want. Really going to town, I love that. Woo! We got the horns, we got the screams, we got the full package here on this twister. You know what, just top it off, seeing it at night. Unfortunately at the moment, won't get to see it in the dark because of how light it is on the night. But yeah, this would look amazing at night, this ride. It's got so many LEDs on here. Really good long cycle that just keeps on giving, honestly. Love it. It's a bit better than uh, Flavio's fabulous Fandango Alton Towers. Of course, check out that vlog if you've not already seen it. Oh my god, what a tune! Love it! Proper classic. Oh, it's so good. All the fun of the fair. Oh, that was excellent. Well, the atmosphere is absolutely pumping this afternoon. You can't beat a fun fair in the sunshine. It's brilliant, it really is. And the twister was awesome. Very much enjoyed that. And up next, I'm going on Music Explosion. It's another two token ride just over here. And yeah, looking forward to this. Love a good Matterhorn ride. So come and join me, let's go and get on. Here we go then. So we're all loaded up here on the Matterhorn and we're ready to ride. Looks like we've got some black clouds coming over, but hopefully, <laughs> he was loving the GoPro. Hopefully we'll, uh, yeah, stay dry for my uh, final few rides down here tonight. Looking forward to Xtreme over there. Let's see if he gets in again. Where is he? There he is, the legend. <laughs> I don't think he's ever seen a camera before. Definitely not a GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. We always start off a bit slower on these, then we really build up when we get going round on here. What I really like with this fair is that even though there was a big queue outside, they've not just let everybody in. You know, they've kept it really reasonable, meaning that the queues are really low for things. It doesn't feel too overcrowded. Just some nice sort of crowd levels in here, which is good. You know, sometimes I feel like they just let loads in. And, uh, but no, like they're really thinking about safety and keeping the crowd levels at a reasonable level. Here we go, speed up a bit now. It doesn't look like a really fast one, this. I went on a really good one the other week over in uh, Central Pier in Blackpool. That was awesome. Yeah, this looks like quite an older ride. Still got a bit of kick to it though. I just love that brand spanking new PWS Twister. It was great. Whee! Well, we're getting a bit of swing now. Woo! Swinging into summer here on Theme Park Worldwide and what a summer it's going to be. So Charlotte's going to be back in the next few days. We're actually making our way over to the Isle of Wight soon, so stay tuned for that. Woo! Oh, it's got some good force to it now. Woo! I like the big mirror ball in the middle. Well, yeah, it's a really good ride selection down here. Very impressed. I thought whilst I'm here in Scotland doing the NC500, may as well come and check it out. Well worth it. You scream, you want to get past there. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm going on X 
Stream, one of my all-time favorites. Whoa. cycle on there as well. Up next then, I'm going on Extreme. You can see it in action there just behind me. Three tokens for this ride. Uh, this one's got a bit of a queue. Seems to be the most popular ride down here. From reading on their Facebook page, this is an older ride that's been refurbished recently. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this rides. Three tokens. I don't think that's too bad at all, to be honest. I'm really enjoying it down here at this fair. I think it's also really good fun. I'm looking forward to getting on here next. So come and join me. Let's have a ride on this refurbished attraction. See how this thing rides. Cycle looks quite good. Here we go, picking up a bit of pace now. It's a full ride, we got some scab riders on here, I think. Woo! Oh, we got the screams coming out already, love it. Sound the party alarm. watching people's reactions on the rides. The lady next to me was absolutely hating that. She was not enjoying it at all, one single bit, but it was funny watching her reaction. Um, yeah, that was really nice. Refurbished attraction, three tokens. Good ride on there, very much enjoyed it. Just thought I'd show you some of the other attractions that there is down here now. Um, you've got quite a few children's rides as always. Trampolines, the bungee trampolines as well. You've got the little planes ride there just behind me. There's also Ice Palace. I believe that that's a brand new fun house. Got some nice graphics on there. Disney branded, of course. And uh, yeah, it's got like a nice LED lighting package on there as well. And you've also got the little uh, runaway train roller coaster over there as well. There's also a Miami just over there. It's a limbo dancer. I've not seen that one before, so I'll put in a bit of footage of that in action. A cred is a cred. 
friend. And yeah, I'm the only one on this old Junior coaster. But well, I believe this is also brand new. So it is a plus one. Why not? Let's do it. Spin it round. <laughs> so some of the audio on here is straight out of Disneyland. We got the Disneyland Railroad. Yeah, look at how fresh it is. All that new track. Hey, how many laps we gonna get? Yeah. Oh, it looks like the storm's coming in now. Just got one more ride to go on, and that's the ghost train. Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Two tokens to ride. To filter out here at the fair. I didn't realise, but it actually closes tonight with it being a Sunday at 5 pm. That's early. Really early. Whee! That's in the air. <laughs> Love the audio. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Whee! Well, yeah, it's really filtering out. What a great fair, though. Really nice selection of rides. I just hope that I can escape before the rain now. We're on the runaway train. You know what? I was counting how many laps, Bob. Oh, now we're stopped. Backwards we go. Oh, the runaway train came down the track and she blew. She blew. The runaway train came down the track and she blew. What the hell? <laughs> I've not heard this for years. There you go. Oh, next. Down to the ghost train. Runaway train. So there's a look at a brand new Helter Skelter here as well. Great to see so many new rides down here. Starfighter, the first ride that I went on today. I didn't realize, but I believe that's also a new ride. It's first outing here in Inverness. So yeah, it was good to get on there. Right then, time for Hell Chaser now. My final ride here at the fair. Loving the little uh, animatronic out there. Would you call him an animatronic? Well, he's moving, I guess. He is in the little uh, chair there, the electric chair. Here we go. I'm not expecting much from this. It's very small but it has still got the classic ghost train drop on there. So we'll see exactly what this is going to be like. Looks like that wolf's a bit of an animatronic up there, but I think he's broken, unfortunately. But here we go. Let's go and have a ride over on here. Hell Chaser, two tokens ghost train, the roller ghoster, as I like to call them. And uh, yeah, this is going to be my final ride of the day. Here we go then, on the ghost train. Classic siren. It's like a bit of a ghost disco in here. I'd say the ghost train exceeded expectations there to be honest i wasn't expecting there to be an actor in there and quite a good mask that he had on actually uh, but yeah it was okay that was for a short ride the little drop in there yeah it was okay i really enjoyed that fun fair brilliant what a really nice ride selection and great to get on some brand new rides as well straight out of the factory uh, and that's always good i mean i really enjoyed the twister uh, i thought that was brilliant the led lighting package on there is great and that's going to look stunning at night yeah if you are coming down here just be careful and check the times because like i say that's closing now at five o'clock it seems like they do kind of session times but you still pay per ride i think that's just so everyone's not arriving at one time and kind of spreading people out a bit more i'm not fully too sure what's the trees um, but yeah you know overall great ride selection in there really enjoyed it to be honest it's nice to have the little drop tower as well that was good fun uh, really good prices got a, a plus one credit as well that i wasn't expecting and considering this wasn't planned as part of my trip like i said i've not just drove over seven hours to come to the fair uh, i've been doing a big trip over the past 
last five days. That is going to be coming up on Adventure Shore, my second channel. So if you go down below in the uh, video description, you can see a link just there. Head over to my second channel, and that's where you'll be able to see um, the five different vlogs that I filmed here from Scotland that are all going to start from next week. And so uh, yeah, this was like the end of of the trip for me. You know, it's been fantastic, but really enjoyed it. Great ride selection, good prices, and the fact they didn't let too many in, I thought was good. You know, with the COVID restrictions, really nice how the uh, how they were running it in there. So as always, thanks for joining me here on Theme Park Worldwide for yes, another fun fair. Quite a few fun fairs this year, and we've got more coming up. You guys keep enjoying them, so we'll keep putting them on for you all to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching Theme Park Worldwide. Coming up soon, we're going to be in the Isle of Wight, so that's going to be good. Me and Charlotte, lots of vlogs, lots of fun times on the way. Not been for three years, so that'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. That leaves me one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next vlog.